shoot now it's hot up in here it's hot up in here hot up in her it's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes <laughs> What's up you guys welcome back to another one of my videos if this is your first time here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that way when i upload my next video you will be the first to know fyi if this is your first time here i don't normally get on camera like this you know this is a special occasion oh yeah excuse this going on right here this little situation okay i just seen this my damn self so i'm going on my shower curtain but it, it's all good though because I'm about to redo my whole bathroom, you guys. I'm about to redo my whole. As a matter of fact, I'm really about to be working on each room in my house, but I'm gonna do them one room at a time or whatever. So I'm gonna film that for you guys. I'm so excited. But they, they, that's besides the point. This is the face mask I'm about to put on, y'all. I literally just got done working out, just got out the shower, and I'm feeling good, girl. It's like three o'clock in the morning though, <laughs> but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm just up. And then I just felt the urge to work out. So boom, here we are. Um, anywho, um, I just finished washing my face also with um, African black soap, of course. You guys know I've been on that for like, I wanna say like a year and a half now. And it's been really helping my skin out. I don't know why I didn't get my mask applicator cause it's like sitting right there. But I'm just gonna use my hands because it's already on there. So, anywho, but if you do have a mask applicator, use that because, girl, it's so much better. But, anywho, um, that's what brings me to this video, though. Um, I want to talk about my channel. I just want to talk about me, period. Like, you know, girl, I'm trying to find myself. <laughs> As I have really um, just been going through a major major transformation in my life and i don't know if you guys can notice or not but like i just been going through a lot of changes like mentally and physically um mainly mentally because i'm in the process of changing my mindset the way that i think the way that i do things the way that i was taught to do things you know learning um the things that i need to learn um and unlearning things that i don't need <laughs> in my life you know um because i don't think we realize um you know us when we were kids like we picked up a lot of toxic traits that carry on into our adulthood and you know i am guilty of carrying a lot of traits from you know past generations into my adulthood and i definitely um definitely don't want to pass those things on down to my son or to any of my future children so um i've just been trying to really like you know address things like you know what i'm saying like if if something is going on with me or if i see certain things going on you know i'm just like okay why is this happening i'm trying to make sure my <laughs> robe don't open up but i'm just like okay why is this happening where did i learn this from why do i feel this way you know how can i fix this it's basically an overload of just the things i've been doing in the past because i told you guys before like when i had took that long little break i was really like doing a lot of like soul searching and really healing and stuff like that but now now i've learned a lot of things like i've learned how to meditate and i've learned how to channel my energy and channel my emotions and stuff like that it's like now girl i'm just trying to master it you know what i'm saying like really master it try to um you know let go of habits and stuff like that and this video is not sponsored by the way <laughs> But I'm leaving right here because, you know, I'm putting y'all alone or whatever. But yeah, this is the clay mask avocado and oatmeal. And I got it from Walmart. Boom. But yeah, I've been using Freeman masks for a while though. Um, so I definitely recommend them. 
even though it's not sponsored <laughs> i definitely recommend them getting in touch with my inner self you know what i'm saying and finding out what it is that i really truly want to do while i'm here in my physical body you know what i'm saying and i feel like i do know but it's like i've been so scared and i'm just like oh no this ain't the right time oh no i gotta wait this ain't the right time this ain't the right time but girl when is the right time okay because we don't got time to wait okay and that's what i had to tell myself like um like literally yesterday i had to tell myself that and like yesterday um i was literally like listening to like audios all day like meditating all day and I was getting my messages that I needed, you know, from my inner source. And I'm just like, okay, boom, I got it. You know what I'm saying? And it is so relieving and it's so refreshing to kind of like know what you are put here to do. And not necessarily saying that I know, you know, 100% that this is what it is that I'm supposed to be here doing but i do feel like i'm on the right path i do feel like i'm going in the right direction of where you know wherever i'm supposed to be going you know what i'm saying but um honestly you guys i really really love helping people i really love inspiring people i really love influencing people and i really love like talking to you guys doing videos i don't care how i'm looking sis <laughs> i'm getting on camera <laughs> this is what i love doing like and it's so crazy because when I first, on the first day I was born, um, I don't know if you guys know or not, but if you my OG follower, you should know. My birthday is on Christmas, Christmas day, okay? And on the first day that I was born, on the day that I was born, talking about the first day I was born, <laughs> but on the day that I was born though, um, I was the only baby born on that day, like in the entire hospital or whatever, in the entire city, basically the only baby that was born that day. So, um, even though, you know, I, I'm from a little small town or whatever, I was the only baby, but, um, I was, you know, on the front page news because of that, like girl coming in and taking photos, <laughs> like boom, I'm here. <laughs> so, I felt like that is like just something that I already came into the world like gifted to do to be in front of the camera and like I've always loved being in front of the camera before like video phones even came out like you know what I'm saying when it was just like regular Kodak cameras like I would literally save up money to go to the dollar store and buy my own little camera so I could like take pictures and stuff like that and girl it was girl making it do what it do okay I just feel like you know I haven't been as consistent with my channel and you know you guys know that of course <laughs> but um i am not trying but i'm doing it you know what i'm saying and i'm going to give you guys videos consistently and i just want you guys to really see my growth you know i'm really trying to um rebrand my image here on youtube not necessarily changing who i am because <laughs> baby <laughs> i'm gonna always be me you feel me it's kind of like you know giving you guys great quality content you know what i'm saying um really doing the videos that i love to do um Oh, this stuff just all over my hands, but it's dry. But anywho, just doing the stuff that I love to do. Um, and a lot of like, you know, motivational stuff. Stuff that's going to help y'all, you know what I'm saying? And stuff that makes me happy. Um, of course, beauty videos, vlogs, traveling, all that type of stuff. Even some cooking videos because I didn't know that y'all really was like filming the cooking videos like that. I did not know. Like when I made that lasagna video <laughs> girl i did not know it was gonna get that many views i didn't know y'all was gonna want me to keep on cooking girl was like girl you haven't uploaded a video in the kitchen with reason like over a year and i'm just like well i'm sorry i will get back into it um and i'm also i'm also i'm also i'm also thinking about changing my channel name i don't see nothing wrong with the name that i have now reese west but i just feel like i'm missing something you know what i'm saying and i've never really embraced my middle name growing up i always thought my middle name was so ugly renee i used to always think it was so ugly i was just like oh why 
You know what I'm saying? Why y'all need me this? <laughs> I used to always think that. But I think it was because I knew this lady named Renee. I don't know what it was. But she was just mean. It was this lady I knew, like, I don't know what it was. But I just did not like my name growing up. But now I'm really embracing it. I'm embracing who I am. You know what I mean? And I would change it to Sharice Renee. But... I'm just gonna keep it at Reese Renee because honestly, I still love my name Reese. I feel like it's more easier for people to pronounce versus saying Sharice, especially when they're like reading it on paper. People be calling me so many things like Carissa, Sharice. I don't know where they be getting these like pronunciations from, but like obviously, I don't know. Maybe they weren't taught to, you know, sound out syllables and whatnot, but girl. They be calling me some crazy stuff. So I just keep it at Reese or whatever. But yeah, I'm changing my channel name to Reese Renee. And I just feel like that's going to go with my new brand more. Um, and it's going to go with who I am. And that's another reason why I had changed my boutique name, Ray Renee. And I'm also working on that as well. So it's just kind of like, um, I'm just really like, going into a new phase in my life i can't even really explain it like sometimes i wake up and i don't know what to do i'm just like what do i do like what do i do what do i do what do i need to do today i just begin to fog and then i end up not doing shit <laughs> and then i end up just like literally wasting a day like i had days like that and I knew that when I was having days like that, something wasn't right with me. Like, I, I just felt like I was supposed to be doing something. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? And it's like, every time I make a video, I feel good. I have fun. You know what I'm saying? I love what I'm doing, but I wasn't doing it. And I'm just like, well, why aren't you doing what you love to do? You know what I'm saying? Why aren't you doing what you're at you're asking for these things like because i do pray over my youtube channel i pray you know that i can be consistent i pray that i can you know get all the things i need for my channel and you know be able to go different places and see new things so i can get great content and stuff like that i pray about all of these things but it's like i wake up every day and do the same thing which is not filming and how could I be asking for these things if I'm not even putting in the work to get it? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just got to get that off my chest. <laughs> Another thing, um, when it comes down to like my son, you know, we are going to be doing videos together on my channel. Um, but eventually, you know, I know he wants to get his own YouTube channel. Um, and that's what a lot of people don't understand like my son is growing up my son is 11 years old okay and i don't know how old other people's kids are that you guys may watch on youtube <clears throat> and whatnot but um my son is just very <clears throat> protective of like you know what i put out of him on the internet like Say me and him take a selfie or something like that and he don't like the way it look, he don't want me to post it. You know what I'm saying? But I may like the way I look, but if he don't like the way he look, he's like, oh, uh -uh, please don't post that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't post it because of the simple fact that I have to respect my son's privacy. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand these days, like with social media and stuff like that. Like when our parents, who are like, you know, in their 50s or whatever. How we go with your mama is and stuff. <laughs> you know, I don't know. How old my mama is? Girl, I don't even know how old my mama is. Girl, she be lying about her age sometimes though, for real. <laughs> so I don't know. She knocking on the door at 50 and she ain't already there. I need to find that out because if her 50th birthday is coming up or if he has already came, that's a problem because, you know, you got to do something big for your 50th birthday. So I got to get down to the bottom of that. When they was growing up, there was no social media. You know what I'm saying? There were no cell phones and all that. They had beepers. When you got to call from the phone, it beep, and then you got to call them back. <laughs> that's what they had. It wasn't no social media. So we don't really know how. Basically what I'm saying is we don't really know 
how this is going to affect our kids when we get our parents' ages. You know what I'm saying? And they're our age. And their friends or whatever can just go and Google them or just go find them on the internet and find like an ugly picture of them or a picture that they may think is ugly. And then, you know, it just gets around. You just never know. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're posting our kids, and I'm guilty of this. You know what I'm saying? But um, I had to go back and, you know, filter a lot of things. I had to go back and um, make my entire album on Facebook. I made it private because I put, like, all of my son's photos in one album but i made it private because certain photos you know are good for the public to see you know whoop de woo but a lot of those photos that i posted were like really like sentimental photos to me you know what i'm saying those those were for me like when he was a kid a baby one two three four five six years old you know what i'm saying i feel like those are photos for me and then whatever you know for the public to see boom but <clears throat> Like I said, we don't know how this is going to affect our kids. So I respect his privacy or whatever when it comes down to him not wanting to be on camera in the vlogs all the time. When it comes down to him not wanting to be, you know, um, posted on the internet all the time. He could be with me, but I may not be posting him. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand. I don't post everything I do on social media and I don't have to. Please respect my privacy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> please i would want you know to do the same thing for y'all you know but um we will do like videos together as far as like challenges or whatever that he wants to do i'm not making my son do nothing period not for no views not for no clout not for nothing we'll do videos that he wants to do and if he wants to get in the vlogs he'll get in the vlogs but other than that this is my channel you know what i'm saying and it is family oriented of course because you guys know um i do have a child but other than that this mask has been on well over 10 minutes but i do love to keep my mask on for like a good minute you know make sure it's getting the job done but yeah so i'm about to end the video because i need to wash this off but yeah i just wanted to really like have this little talk with y'all i really like don't know what i was really talking about i just feel better that I talked about it because I just feel like I can breathe and that's what's wrong with us these days. We try to keep shit inside. You know what I'm saying? We need to just let it out and let the world know how we feel. You know what I'm saying? We need to start letting folks know how we feel. Start speaking out for real. And it's a certain way that you speak. You know, you don't have to be all angry and stuff. You can just speak normally in your normal tone of voice. But anywho, like I said before, if you are not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, okay? And make sure you turn on your post notifications. Make sure y'all also follow me on Instagram. And I will leave it. Look, I was just going to take out a name, but I don't know if I'm changing my Instagram name too. Because if I change my Instagram name, just put it like this. If I change my, I don't know what I'm going to do. But just follow me on Instagram because I'm going to leave you there that so good. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. <laughs> I'll see y'all in my next video. God bless. Turn off, sis. We done. And cut.